Good evening. Car manufacturing in Adelaide's north could be resurrected after a surprise about face by the Commonwealth. A Belgian businessman who has his eye on the Elizabeth plant now has clear access to federal funding. The Premier says Canberra now realises driving the industry out was a mistake. And Elizabeth Lifeline, the federal government at the start of an election year, changing its tune about supporting the automotive industry. If we can save uh, the car industry here in Adelaide, uh, we will, because it's about jobs, it's about growth, uh, and it's about certainty for those workers into the future. Belgian Guido Dumaray is interested in buying the Elizabeth plant. He owns a former General Motors factory in France, which too was due to close. Uh, I think for, uh, for the Elizabeth there is an opportunity. The entrepreneur now has Christopher Pine's blessing and a pledge he can access an $800 million federal funding pool if he successfully takes over the Holden factory. The automotive transformation scheme remains in place until 2021. If we can attract a car manufacturer to Australia, whether it's in Melbourne or whether it's in Adelaide, uh, I'll do that. The decision to, to actually close Holden's uh, was a mistake and I think the federal government uh, are beginning to realise that. A disagreement over long-term federal funding in 2013 was one of the triggers for Holden's exit. On the one hand we've had federal government chasing the car industry out of this nation and now they're writing letters of support to re-establish the car industry. We really need to know where they stand on this issue. Under Mr Dumaray's plan for Elizabeth, the current Commodore would be used as the base for a new range of premium vehicles for both local and export markets. Some suggesting they could also be used as the next generation of police cars. Mr Dumaray from Punch Corporation is fair dinkum about this. He just wants a fair go from General Motors and from the Australian state governments. We're as positive as we can be about this. This, this needs to be a positive step and seen in a positive light for Adelaide. Holden says it's open to considering an offer. It's very early days and so therefore we have a lot of water to go under the bridge before um, that is successful. And state political reporter Rory McLaren joins us now. Rory, there are other positive signs on the job horizon too. Yeah, that's right, Kate. A high-level Japanese trade delegation is in town and talking up long-term job-generating trade prospects with our state, especially if the economic superpower is, the, is chosen by the federal government as the successful partner for the $50 billion future submarine project. But it wasn't all positive jobs news today. Borrell has confirmed a restructure of the company's truck network. As a result, the Transport Workers Union says 14 drivers were let go this morning. Now, the company says Brenton and Kate that will look to redeploy those people within the company's network.